Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Sarah with Jujube Crafts and more. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you four DIYs using Dollar Tree products and also some decorative paper that I picked up at Michael's. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. For our first DIY, we're going to use some of these stocking ornaments that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And then I picked out some paper that I really liked out of a couple of paper pads that I purchased at Michael's. Next, I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm just going to put a good coat of Mod Podge on the very bottom portion of these stockings using a paintbrush. We're going to do a, something a little different for the tops of these stockings, so don't put any Mod Podge up there right now. Once the bottom portion of your stocking is completely covered in Mod Podge, you're going to add your decorative paper. Take your time and really make sure you press firmly and get out all the air bubbles from underneath the paper. Once your stockings are completely dry, you're going to, um, however you want to cut off the excess paper, you can do that. I like to use a sanding block to get rid of all the excess paper around the edges of my pieces when I use wood because it creates a very uniform piece. I don't know, it just kind of looks like the paper is made for the wood. Next I'm going to take one of these microfiber cloths that I purchased at Dollar Tree in the car section and I'm going to cut off a portion. Now I'm going to use that finished edge as part of my stocking piece so I wanted to keep that part. And here's that finished edge I was talking about. I'm going to fold that over and that's going to create the little cuff for our stocking. And here I'm just measuring it up to make sure that I'm making them pretty uniform. I want them to look similar. I'm just going to run a bead of hot glue, fold it over. Be careful you don't burn yourself with this. I like to use one of these uh, silicone makeup sponges to help adhere my glue down sometimes. And then we're going to fold this piece of cloth the opposite direction that we had folded the little cuff and you're just going to hot glue that down and that just creates a nice finished edge for the bottom portion of your little cuff. Next we're just going to add some hot glue to the top part of our stocking and then we're going to adhere that microfiber cloth right down and that creates our adorable little cuff for our stockings. Then just trim off any excess along the edges. And you can fluff it out with your fingers. I'm going to do this to each one of the stockings. Once that's all completed, I'm going to string on some beads. Um, I'm just using some wood beads that I purchased from Amazon, and I'm just going to string them onto some twine. Next, I'm going to take a one inch paper punch that I have and a piece of cardstock, and I'm just going to punch out a circle. Now you don't need to use a circle, you could cut out a square with uh, scissors if you don't have a punch. But basically what I'm doing is I'm creating a channel for my um, twine to go through so that my stockings can move freely on the garland. You 
using a little hot glue, I'm going to adhere the circle right onto the stocking over the top of the twine. Now make sure you don't get your twine in your hot glue because you want the twine to move freely back and forth underneath that circle. And then continue to uh, thread your garland. And here you can see it moves freely. And here's a look at how it turned out. I think these turned out so adorable. I love the little fur cuffs on these and the different colors. For DIY number two, we're going to take one of these piggy bank boxes that you can purchase at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take back, take off the backing. Next, I'm picking out a paper that I got from a six by six paper pad that I also purchased at Michael's. And I'm just gonna use the original backing that was in that box to figure out how much I need to cut off of that six by six paper pad. Now I'm using a trimmer to trim down my paper, but you can definitely just use a pair of scissors to do this. Next, I wanted to add some fairy lights to the inside of my box. So I'm just gonna string them through that bank opening and I'm gonna adhere them to the inside of the box. Now, you'll see at the end that my lights all end up laying at this exact same spot. So if you don't want your lights laying at the exact same spot, just make sure that you um, you know, look where your lights are and fold your um, wire over accordingly. Now I tried to adhere these with hot glue and it didn't hold. So I don't know if the, um, I think it's kind of a plasticky um, frame and the hot glue just was not holding onto that frame. So you might want to either sand down the inside of that frame or I'm just using some glue dots to adhere it and that worked really well. You could probably use some ETH 6000 or some super glue to do this as well. Now I lost the footage, but I decided to make the opening of the bank the bottom part. So where you see that little hole, I do end up putting a craft stick over the top of that. Next, I'm taking a dryer sheet and running that all over the inside of the glass. And that way the faux snow doesn't stick to the glass. Next, I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and I'm just going to put some Mod Podge all over the bottom portion of that so that I have a place for my faux snow to stick. Then I'm just gonna press the faux snow right into that Mod Podge. I'm going to take this makeup sponge or the silicone makeup brush and I'm just going to get all the faux snow out of that channel because I want my backing to sit on there nicely. Next, I'm going to take a sticker from this uh, sticker pad that I also purchased at Michael's and I just decided that it just needed a little something extra in the middle of the sign. So I found a really cute sticker to put in there and I'm just gonna adhere that down. Next, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more of the faux snow to the inside of my box. And then I'm going to put everything back into the box. Isn't this so cute? I love how the fairy lights just illuminate everything. 
Next, I'm going to hot glue my battery pack to the back of my sign. Make sure that you are not hot gluing the side that you need to take off for the battery. To finish this off, I'm just adding a really cute little red twine bow to the very corner. And here's a look at how it turned out. I think this is so adorable and I can't wait to put it up. For DIY number three, we're gonna take one of these ornaments that you can purchase from Dollar Tree and start, I'm gonna cut off the string and then take off that little metal part at the top because we are gonna reuse that. And here I'm just using my Cricut uh, tool to do that. And then we're just gonna pull off that burlap. Next, I decided to paint the outside edge with some black chalk paint by Waverly in the color ink. And then I'm going to paint the back side of this um, also with the black chalk paint. Next, I'm gonna add some Mod Podge. Now you'll see that I'm adding Mod Podge onto the side that I painted, and that's because I messed up the other side and had to uh, turn it over and use this side. So this was originally going to be my back, but I messed it up, and so here we are using the back as the front. And I just picked out this really adorable paper that I had in a paper pad from Michaels, and I'm just gonna attach that on top of the ornament. And then once the Mod Podge was dry, I used a sanding block to get rid of all the excess paper. Next, I am gonna take one of these cut aparts from the paper pads that I purchased from Michaels. And um, I was playing around to see which one I wanted to put. And I ended up putting this Merry and Bright on here. Next, I found a, something round that I could trace with a pencil that was bigger than that Marion Bright part so that I could get a nice round circle. And I'm just gonna use my pencil to trace around this circle so that I've got a really nice line to cut out on. And there you can see my pencil line. Next, I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut right along that pencil line. Now, if you're really good at cutting out freehand a circle, then you definitely don't need to do the tracing and pencil thing, but I'm not very good at that. So I needed to have a template. Next, I'm going to place my Marion Bright in the middle of this little ornament. And I'm just using my Barely Art Precision Craft Glue, but any glue would work just fine for this. I just like this glue because it doesn't buckle the paper. Next I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just going to pop that right through the hole so that um, I can add a hanger to this again, and then I'm going to hot glue that metal piece right back on to this ornament. Next, I'm going to take some of this boxwood that I purchased at Walmart. And I was looking for my scissors. I have certain scissors for different things, so like... I have paper scissors and, and fabric scissors and then craft scissors, so <laughs> I was looking for those. Anyhow, um, I'm just going to add a little bit of this boxwood greenery to the top of this ornament and then just kind of swag it down.
Then I'm taking some of this berry garland that I also got at Dollar Tree and I'm wrapping it around a pencil to create a little curly cuteness for the ornament here. <laughs> it just adds a little bit extra texture and a pop of that white color. Just gives it a little more interest. And here I'm just playing with it to get it where I want it. And then I'm going to add some red berries that I cut from a pick, also bought from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to add a twine hanger. So I'm just cutting a piece of twine and then I'm going to fold it in half, poke the folded edge through the hole, and then I'm going to put the ends through that loop and pull tight. Next I wanted to add some wood beads to the top of this. So I just picked out three different wood beads to put through the twine. And then I'm just going to put a knot at the very top for so that I can hang it on either a tree or on my wall or a wreath or wherever I'm going to put this. I'm not sure yet, but I'm just going to tie a little knot at the top there. And then finally, I wanted to add a little bow. So I'm taking some of this gingham black and white um, print ribbon that I bought from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna make a simple bow using that ribbon. And I have to mess with bows for a thousand years before I get them right. Always, always, always. <laughs> Next, I'm going to put the bow onto my ornament with a little hot glue. And then there was a little spot there that was kind of empty. And so I just found a small pine cone and I placed it right there as well. Next, I'm going to cut off the um, tails on my ribbon bow. And here is a look at how this turned out. I think this is so cute and I can't wait to put it on my tree or wherever I decide to put it. And for our last DIY, we're going to take one of these little snow globe decor pieces and I'm just going to cut off the twine that is wrapped around it. And I took the stickers off the back of this and that's the side we're going to use. Now I'm just going to paint the very outside edge with the Waverly ink and then I'm going to add Mod Podge onto this little snow globe. After it's completely covered with Mod Podge, I'm going to add some paper. Pressing firmly to get all the air bubbles out. And then I'm just going to use my scissors to cut around that. And here I wanted to have a little base for my snow globe, so I'm just using my fingers to push the paper around it so that I can get a good um, impression and I can cut the um, bottom portion of the snow globe out. That would be like the stand of the snow globe. Next I cut out a circle from my Cricut 
um, that was the same size as the snow globe. And I'm just going to trace around the circle on the piece of paper that I want inside my snow globe. You'll see in just a second what I'm talking about. It'll make sense in just a second. So then I'm gonna cut these cute little snow people out. And yes, I know that that very edge is a little funky, but it will get covered up. So I wasn't worried about that at all. And this was a circle that I cut out on my Cricut. And I'm just going to apply that to a piece of acetate, clear acetate. So I'm just using my art glue and I'm just adhering that right down onto that acetate. And then I'm going to cut around the edge there so that, um, you know, the extra portion of the acetate is cut off. We don't want that hanging out over the edge. And what we're making is a shaker snow globe. So I just was, I'm going to adhere the cute little snow people in or onto the snow globe using my Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take some of this foam tape that I bought from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to add it to the very edge of my um, circle here. And I'll do two layers of this foam tape. So I take off the protective piece and then just adhere another layer of foam tape right on top. Next, I'm going to fill my shaker up with some sequins and um, large glitter pieces. And then I'm going to put the circle onto the snow globe. Now I end up, you can't really see, but because I had to do it up high, but I held the snow globe up and then looked up underneath so that I could get it lined up correctly. And there's our little shaker. Everything is secured in there. Then I'm going to add some foam tape to the bottom part of our snow globe. And this is just creating our little stand. So you want to add two layers of foam tape to this too, because you want it to be the same height as the top portion. Next, I'm going to take this little sticker that I found from my sticker pad and I'm going to place that right onto the base just to add a little bit of cuteness to it. And then to finish this off, I'm going to add a little twine bow to the corner. Now my tails weren't going where I wanted them to, so I'm just gonna add a little hot glue and I'm just gonna make them go where I want them to go. So 
So here is a look at how that turned out. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you liked this video. Please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, and share if you think anybody you know would like to see this video. I really appreciate you and I'm so thankful for you. I hope you have a great, happy, and blessed day. And until next time, bye!